In this video, we are going to talk about seven things that we miss about Germany. Of course, there are things that we don't miss about Germany, but that's an entirely different video. Every country has its pros and cons based on your individual personal preferences. And today we're going to talk about our thoughts and opinions. We are Diana and Phil. Diana's from the United States and I'm from Germany. And we've been in the US for a couple of months now. And believe it or not, there are a couple of things that we miss about Germany. So let's get right into it. The first thing that we miss about Germany is public transportation being available and affordable. Yes, so coming back to the US this time, I have more of a German perspective after living in Germany for a year. Germany, it is easier to get around within the country, but also to the surrounding countries within Europe using public transportation. In the US, we have to drive a lot, and I personally do not love driving. I would much rather walk or take a bus or a train to get to where I'm supposed to go. And as much as people in Germany love to complain about the transportation, the trains, the scheduling, and the cost, I think it tends to be way more accessible and affordable in Germany than in the US. Yeah, I totally agree. I think the US is completely built for driving cars around, and people have so many cars here. Yeah. And the public transportation use is something I miss, and I think it's something that we should be thankful for to have. Yes. Number two is the food in Germany. As much as I love the food here, the abundance and the availability of all kinds of international cuisines, there's actually some German food that I miss. The US has so much good stuff, but one thing that I miss, for example, is the German bread. There's decent bread here, but I still miss a little bit of a hearty, the grainier, the heavier breads that we have in Germany. And when they're fresh from the bakery, that stuff is just very, very nice to have. Another thing that I kind of miss a little bit weirdly, but I guess that's our problem is boiled potatoes. I just noticed that uh, we use kind of potatoes here on a regular basis, but we never just boil them. In the US, it's always somehow mashed or loaded with a lot of things, which is amazing as well. But uh, I'm also trying to be kind of healthy, so I miss that a little bit too. He loves his potatoes. Yeah, what's not to love? <laughs> But then the biggest thing, if you watch our channel regularly, you know what it is. The biggest food item that I miss from Germany and that every country in the world should have because it's the best fast food and the most affordable, best bang for your buck fast food in the world. The Döner Kebab. The Döner Kebab is completely missing in the US. There are some things that kind of resemble it a little bit and they have a lot of burritos, which we miss in Germany. But the Döner is the number one food item that I miss from Germany. Point number three is that I really miss being surrounded by the language that I'm learning. So my first year living in Germany was during the pandemic and even though it was like this lockdown time, I still got to hear German on a regular basis with Phil and his family also just going to the supermarket. And granted, I do have Phil here all the time, but it is a little exhausting to speak German all the time. It becomes more of a language lesson than an actual conversation. You know. So it's definitely helpful to have Phil as a native speaker here with me, but I have definitely been slacking off on my German studies here in the US a bit. Yes, I can definitely relate to that. I studied in England for a year and that really, really helped me improve my English a lot. And I think uh, surrounding yourself in an English speaking environment is one of the best ways to do. However, initially I learned English in Germany and you don't really need to be outside of the country if you want to learn it because nowadays there are even better and easier ways to learn a language even from your home. Which brings us to this video's sponsor, Lingoda. Are you struggling to learn a new language? Yeah, but I've just been so busy and I'm not really motivated to learn German at the moment. Do you want to travel to a foreign country in the future and be able to speak the language? Yeah. I always wanted to go to Mexico and be able to order a beer in Spanish at the beach. Well, I have an answer for you. The online language learning school Lingoda is offering a special edition language sprint challenge. And this time it is only for two months. Two months, only 60 days. Starting this September, Lingoda is offering a two month language sprint. With a duration of only two months, this is the shortest sprint challenge that Lingoda has ever launched. This means that it's only a 60 day commitment to bring your language skills to the next level and have a chance at 50 or 100% cash back. Exactly. That means only taking 15 classes with the sprint or 30 classes with the super sprint each month for two months. And if you attend all of your classes, you get 50 or 100% cash back. The Lingoda Sprint course starts on September 7th and ends on November 5th. The registration is open now until September 3rd, so sign up today. We do have a voucher code for you to use to get a discount. The code is Diana20 for 20 euros off when you sign up. The languages offered for this sprint are German, French, Spanish, 
English and business English. So if you're looking to improve your language skills or to maybe learn a new language, this is a great opportunity to do so. Just sign up by using the link in our description and don't forget to use our discount code Diana 20. A big thank you to Lingoda for sponsoring today's video and now back to the video. Point number four of things that we miss about Germany is the German quality of life and especially the houses. So I think I'm definitely missing living in a German house a little bit because they're just some convenient things like the walls are a little thicker, you can't hear everything. And try living with the in-laws for a few months, it's hard. <laughs> Yeah, but also like flexible shower heads and uh, I think the showers in general are a little more convenient. He loves his detachable shower head. But the main thing that I miss comfort wise is the German beds. I think the beds are a little bigger on average. Oftentimes here you get queen size beds, king size is like nice to have but in Germany I'm always complaining when I sleep in something under a California king size bed. Then you have more pillows in our beds, more blankets where here is still this one blanket culture a lot. Also you have this weird sheet situation with like this thin ass sheet over you and then you have a not never washed blanket on top and you just hope it's never touching you so I'm missing like the duvet system like putting it in a sheet let me clarify he's not struggling we bought him extra comforters we gave him more pillows so his princess sleeping setup can be there bro he is straight up queen he a diva when he sleeps no queen is not good enough <laughs> Then there's another thing like the darker rooms, like the full blackout blinds that's like nowhere to be found in the US. Yeah. I mean, you have it, but hotels never, like it's the, always... The rollers. Right? Yeah. I like those too. That's the thing I definitely miss because I think good night of sleep, very important. Point number five is a proper feeling of safety, if that makes sense. And I'm relating to a couple of things here. One thing is, for example, healthcare. In Germany, you just have, don't have to worry about spending too much money if you injure yourself or get sick. You don't have to worry about in-network, out-of-network, doctors whatever you just covered and you're good to go another thing is the driving I think in Germany people are a little more educated when it comes to driving they have way more training and people complain a lot about driving in Germany but I think it's definitely worse here you have to be way more attentive here but it's because of the education yeah. and the differences of education and there are also more rare things like environmental issues like uh, hurricanes tornadoes bushfires and all those things that are not a concern in Germany really even though we had a very bad flood recently but that's really not the common thing. So in comparison, in a lot of aspects, Germany is a very, very safe place and you just don't have to worry about any of those things. Yeah. Also not to mention he's terrified of any bugs here or spiders. He thinks every spider is a black widow. Yeah. No lethal animals in Germany. Point number six is affordable groceries. Yes, I know the branding here in the US is that German products are luxury, they're expensive, European exquisite products, and while that may be true in some cases, I feel like the basic essentials are cheaper in Germany. So we've been mostly staying at my parents' house here in the US, and every time we travel we've been mostly visiting friends or family. Luckily everyone's been willing to give us a room or somewhere to stay, but our biggest expense here in the US right now is groceries. And it's been very apparent how much more expensive the basic essentials of groceries are here in the US compared to Germany. Yeah, I try to look at a couple of grocery prices everywhere we go and compare like milk, meat or baked goods, everything that we buy on a regular basis. And I'm very familiar with the German prices and in my mind I'm like, oh my god, it's so much more expensive so it's very, very apparent to us. And point number seven and the last point and one of the biggest ones that we miss about Germany is the German city lifestyle. And what I mean by that is basically the German city layout. They are just made differently. The German and the European cities, they're just so nice to live in. They're super condensed, they're walkable, they're fairly green. A lot of them have a lot of amazing parks. It's just overall good infrastructure. And also there's so much restaurant and cafe culture on the German city streets and the European ones. Meaning a lot of times people just sit on the sidewalks or in pedestrian zones and you can see them enjoying their stuff. And I think that gives the city so much flair whereas yeah. in the US it's often like outlets or little malls or it's just indoor 
boxed up more. I think it just misses a little bit of that lifestyle flair. And this in combination with the higher prices is probably the main reason we decided not to move to the US at the moment. Also, if you spend a day in the city, it's just overall the prices again are cheaper. It's the food, the coffee, the parking, the public transportation in the city. It just accumulates a lot if you spend a day in a US city. But those are just our seven thoughts and opinions that we miss about Germany at the moment. Let us know what you would miss about Germany if you would be abroad for a while. Don't forget to give this video a like and comment below what you think and uh, support us on patreon.com slash dnnfil if you want to. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. A big thank you to everyone who watches our videos and supports us and a special thank you to our patrons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.